And so right then, it's like, all right, what's, what are you going to do? The first thing I thought about when we were looking at minimums for the plate was personal minimums. Okay. And how they're not as uh, emphasized when we train in IFR. Just, oh, these are the legal minimums and just keep it at that. But what you're, what you feel that you're proficient enough in to safely land could differ from what's depicted on the plate. Like, and that's something that, you know, we were both flying today and they're quarter mile visibility and vertical visibility of like 1200 feet or something. And yeah. So it was kind of a good example because we were having to, you saw it in action of like, hey, this is what a real time unplanned divert could look like. Because we were flying into flying cloud. The weather was forecast to be okay. You know, it wasn't great, but it was marginal VFR to IFR depending on the forecast this morning when we took off. And then like 45 minutes out, we were able to pick up ATIS or 30 minutes out, and it was okay. And then as soon as we started the descent, we got the special yep. ATIS, quarter mile visibility, blowing snow. And so right then, it's like, all right, what's... What are you going to do? Yeah, what are we going to do? And that's this is when backup planning comes into the hand. And uh, you thought we talked earlier about getting a hold and thinking about, you know, next steps or giving it a shot. And, yeah. And fuel planning comes into play a lot. Yeah, and that's a good example of how you're not, uh, you're not forced to do your divert. Your divert's a planning scenario. And so typically what I do is carry enough fuel and plan a divert that gives me enough fuel. It's kind of, it built, I call it build it in slop. So the divert that we had was actually 50 miles to the east of Flying Cloud. But when we were actually thinking about having to divert, I'd really already ruled that out because the storm was kind of moving that way and that would be flying into the bad weather. And instead, going to the west about 15 miles, there was a better option. And so we could have leveled off, we could have entered holding and then decided, hey, we've got maybe 10 or 15 minutes of holding fuel and then we have to make a decision either we're going to divert or we're going to hold till this little snowstorm passes through flying clouds and then we're going to land. In either case, we're making a decision early enough so we're not going to put ourselves in a bad fuel situation. Great. I think it was a great one of your first times operating in the system in the King Air to see something like that. It really makes you constantly need to know what you're looking for when it comes to weather and planning.